Hello there. My work at DTU focuses on supported ion liquid phase carbonylation, or SILP carbonylation. This concept is fairly new, about 10 years in the making, and it's quite simple to explain. You take a solid, as seen here, you take a layer of an ion liquid, you put this on top of the solid, and you dissolve a catalyst in it. What you then do is you feed in your reagents, in this case methanol and carbon oxide, and we get our products out at the end. What we have on the right is uh, basically we start out at this large scale thing and we zoom in and as you can see we end up with this catalyst in an ionic liquid. So what we've been carrying out is the carbonylation of methanol to acetic acid. Now the reaction scheme for this shown on the left is fairly well established and has been carried out for about 60 years. It's on a large scale in industry and it works. What we've decided to do is try and take our soap which is there on the top right as you can see, it's a nice fine powder. The colour varies slightly depending on the composition. We can load this into our reactor, we feed in our reagents, and at the end we get out all our products. And what you can see on the bottom right here gives us a, a rough average of uh, some of our results here. We can get conversion of methanol up to about 60%. On this is not quite as high as industry, but comparable at some stages. And our acetyl selectivity, which is all our important products, which obviously is slightly lower, uh, but is also quite a good level and almost comparable industrially. The only major byproduct we have is dimethyl ether, shown in the purple, which is obviously a very, very low level and is not important. So what we've managed to show is the relative industrial viability of this SILP concept going from a lab scale, hopefully scaling up to a large industrial scale. Thank you.